Are you excited to find a website where you can get custom one-off parts for your Chevy Cruze? Go to supercruises.com today so you can make your ride even better. How's everyone doing? Thanks for coming to the Dave's World YouTube channel and uh, I appreciate everybody who supports the Super Cruises website. I have a really cool kit that uh, everybody seems to be very happy with. So I decided that I want to put out a video to show uh, how to install everything and, and basically where it's supposed to go on your Chevy Cruze. So you see here I have a catch can with one of my releasable brackets. I have a colored hose. The reason the hose is blue is uh, I'm just testing samples to see what I like. Eventually I'm going to have red ones. And then you'll see the uh, cruise kits PCV fix sitting right here. So basically, uh, when you go on supercruises.com, you can pretty much order the cruise kits PCV fix through my website. And you can order it with the ability to have your catch can included in the kit. And I want to show everybody basically how to install everything today. Okay, so on your strut tower, you're going to see two basically quarter inch existing holes. We're going to use the one right here for mounting my adjustable bracket. You can do this two ways. You can basically remove the wheel or you could turn the wheel all the way to the left. That way you can gain access to the back of the hole. It's right up here pretty much next to the strut. Okay, so you can see I installed the bracket. Basically, this bracket is adjustable. It could actually come up another two inches if I wanted, but I decided to mount it about halfway. The nice thing about the bracket is it securely holds the can. And then when I want to drain this thing, I can literally just pull up on it remove the basin and drain the oil right out. The next thing I want to do with the help of Andre from Cruise Kits is show you how to install the PCV fix. So Andre from Cruise Kits had given me footage that I could use. So uh, when I was basically showing people how to install my catch can system with his Cruise Kits PCV fix, uh, he gave me some media to use so we can show how to install both packages. So his PCV uh, fix kit basically comes with everything you need. It's all the clamps, hoses, fittings, uh, you know, mounting brackets. And then it'll also come with the hoses needed to route to my catch can. That's a completely different kit. Uh, so when you order the PCV fix and the catch can system from me, you will get the uh, additional hoses needed, mounting brackets, and the catch can. So both systems can integrate together. Andre is a really cool guy. So instead of me figuring out my own PCV fix, I decided to work with him on integrating our kits together. So this footage will pretty much show you what installing his kit onto an intake manifold would be like on your own car. What's great is uh, you do not have to remove your intake manifold with this kit. It's just simulated on the workbench to show you how to do it. You do not have to remove it. Everything in the kit is designed that you can install the PCV fix without having to take the intake off. You'll be able to do it in your car. Uh, it actually also, the kit is really nice because it comes with additional tools. It comes with the glues that you need. And I'm going to show you in this video basically how to install the kit into your car and then integrate my kit into his. Now basically you see here that Andre is uh, showing how to mix the JB Weld. Now if you mix the JB Weld too early what could end up happening is it'll actually harden up inside the container. Uh, the, you know when I say container it's the clear plastic that everything came in. So what I would do is uh, get to the point where right before you need the JB Weld mix it together and just take your time, let it mix, let it cure and then get it onto the plug. So this basically is used uh, to go on the end of the plug where the check valve used to be and then this will harden up in the opening to where the check valve would open and close that way you're blocking off that area that's the point of the kit basically your check valve goes bad and then your intake manifold leaks boost which is why the fix basically repairs the boost problem and that's why your valve cover leaks
Uh, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you have a series of hoses that go to the intake manifold. This little hose, basically what you need to do is retain this little check valve and retain the elbow. Uh, you could either use a uh, razor knife like Andre's doing or you can use a hair dryer and heat the plastic up and then pull it off. The razor knife is probably a little better because then you know you don't have to worry about melting anything. Now on this bigger hose you're going to see that the uh, it's basically a, a quarter inch or like a one eighth hose that needs to be saved and then you have the big flexible hose that's on the fittings. This goes from your intake manifold all the way down to your turbo and that little hose actually controls the diverter valve. The diverter is like a factory blow off valve that recirculates the air. You need to retain that because you also need to retain your diverter so you don't want to lose it. Now same situation here. What you need to do is either cut the uh, plastic off of the fittings or again you can heat it up you know I've used hair dryers or heat guns you just want to get the plastic soft enough that it'll pull right off or, or you can use basically a razor blade and some pliers just like Andre so uh, it doesn't matter how you do it just in the end you want to make sure that uh, you retain the fittings and that the fittings are in good condition so when you hook the PCV uh, fix hoses up to it and clamp them down that it the fitting itself is not compromised the ones in this video look pretty good uh, Make sure yours look that nice and make sure they're not you know coated with oil if they are clean them up that way You can get a good seal Now the next thing uh, Andre is going to be showing is basically How to prepare the check valve area in the intake manifold basically in there should be a orange um check valve that moves most of the time if you look in there and it's missing that pretty much means your intake is no good so he's showing how to clean everything up the other thing that comes with the kit is this little wire brush that you could stick into a drill you want to run that in and out of there as much as you can to get any kind of debris out and what it does is it actually cleans up the plastic uh, so when you use the plug that's going to be going down into that hole you're not getting any kind of oils into the JB weld mixture uh, so he's going to show you next that there's a little dot it's, it's this little tiny pad that's going to have this little tiny glue on it that's going to go on the back of the plug. Uh, you want to clean up the plug and you want to put the dot on back of the plug. So what you're doing is actually sticking it to uh, the screwdriver. And then that screwdriver is going to be used to go down into the opening for where the check valve was. And you're going to put the uh, JB weld on the end of the plug. So that's what he's doing right now. This stuff is really cool. It's very, it's really, it's like very gooey and it kind of gets sticky. Uh, you basically want to use your judgment on it, so you're going to stick it to the end and then stick the screwdriver on it. You want to get it to the point where the screwdriver, while it's on the end of the screwdriver, you, you want to make sure that while you're sliding it into the hole that it's not just going to fall off and drop into the hole. You want to make sure you have a good, secured feeling. Now it's not going to matter because once that is in the place it needs to be in, inside the intake manifold, and you pull up on the screwdriver, it's pretty much going to stay there. Uh, so it's not a big deal. But you, you basically want to get it to a point where it's on there strong enough that it's not just going to fall off. And that's why you see Andre literally tapping it on the table. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the JB Weld and you're just going to goop up the end of the plug. And then uh, we're, it, it, basically the great thing about Andre's kit is because of the way he has this kit designed, you can drop it down into the opening and you're not going to have to worry about it. Like this is basically the main reason why you don't have to remove the intake manifold. He literally figured out every little thing you need to do to make this work and make this install into your intake manifold. So you do not have to go crazy removing it, making the install so much quicker and easier. And uh, when you have to repair your car because you're having boosting problems, it's such an easy, quick fix that you don't have to go crazy uh, uh, spending hours repairing your car. Uh, this literally fixes the problem permanently and you don't have to deal with it ever again. Okay, so now you can see the plug has been installed blocking off the area that ends up leaking boost into the valve cover. Uh, this is just another angle that Andre is showing. And the next thing you want to do is now assemble the PCV uh, fix kit. The kit comes with all of these little brackets and hoses and clamps that you're going to need uh, to assemble everything. Uh, basically, once everything is assembled, it's a series of basically directions where boost and vacuum are going to be working. So under boost, there's a check valve involved, and what the check valve is doing is blocking off areas that you don't want to leak boost. And then what happens is the check valve opens under vacuum, and that allows the intake manifold to basically uh, suck crankcase pressure back in to the intake manifold. Now this is why the catch can system is so important. 
uh, those oil vapors, moisture, and debris that actually gets into the turbo and intake manifold pretty much gets caught into my catch can, which is why we integrated the systems together. Now pay attention to the, to the way Andre has these clamps. He basically put two clamps on each side because you're going to end up cutting the hose and then you're going to end up putting a T fitting in place. So one of the clamps is uh, basically clamping each fitting and then the other clamps will be used for the basically the T fittings. Uh, so what he's going to be doing is putting it in place. Actually, this would be known as like a Y fitting, but it does the same thing. You want to always make sure everything is nice and clean. That's why Andre sits there clean, uh, cleaning everything. Just pay attention to how Andre hooks everything up because you have to do the same thing on your own car. And then once everything is assembled, you're gonna basically pop these back in place on the intake manifold. And again, this is a kit that you do not have to remove the intake manifold. It's just off the car for video purposes. But everything basically just clips back in place. So it's important to pay attention to the next part of the installation. Now, if you were to lay all of the pieces on a table, it would look like you have a thousand parts, but everything kind of goes together like a puzzle. Uh, so basically, the uh, two fittings that you save that go from the intake manifold down to the turbo, the uh, fitting on the top of the intake manifold and the check valve basically get reused and then what you're going to do is assemble everything so the boost and vacuum can be routed properly. Now just pay attention to how uh, everything is being assembled in this video. Everything has a place. You're not going to have any leftover pieces except for maybe a zip tie. Uh, and, and then basically, uh, once everything is assembled with the uh, 3.4 PCV fix kit, uh, you'll be able to tap my catch can system into this kit. Uh, you're just going to basically reroute two pieces, which I showed in the video. When ordering this kit, it will come with different hoses when it's the version that uses my catch can system. Uh, so whenever you order it from me it'll have everything you need you won't have to get anything extra to make it work we literally work together so they can integrate without any problems now you'll see in the next portion of the video that there's a little tiny check valve this check valve has an arrow on it you want to make sure the arrow is positioned in the correct way because if it's positioned the wrong direction uh, you will lose boost and not have vacuum when you need it so make sure that arrow is positioned correctly Okay, so the final part of the installation will be the larger hoses being installed on the uh, intake manifold above the OEM check valve location, uh, sending the smaller 3 8 hoses from the new check valve to the uh, smaller 3 8 Y fitting, and then sending the large hose down the turbo, and then the diverter uh, hose that was saved before will need to be rehooked uh, into the intake manifold. So this is basically what it's going to look like. So thank you, Andre. I appreciate you letting me use that footage. The only reason I have not installed it completely on my car is because Andre started selling a ported intake manifold. At the time of filming this video, I was under the impression that Andre was selling ported intake manifolds for the Generation 1 crews. However, since I filmed this, I spoke to Andre and found out he doesn't offer them anymore. But he convinced me to start offering them. So if this is something that everyone wants, uh, just send me a message or comment on the video. I also started putting some posts on Facebook asking people if they'd be interested in the ported intake manifolds with the PCV fix installed already, and you can get my oil separator. If that's something you want, just keep commenting, let me know, and then I'll come up with the uh, ported intake kits for everyone. And I plan on going big turbo. So I'm gonna be removing this intake manifold, installing his intake manifold that already has the PCV fix in it. But what I wanna do real quick is show you guys how to integrate the catch can into the PCV fix. Okay, so the nice thing about working with Andre is when you order the kit, the kit will come prepared in order to install a catch can into his kit. So the line will pretty much go from the catch can down to the turbocharger and his kit will have basically a series of hoses coming off the back of the intake manifold and then there you'll have your main hose coming from where the old check valve is up to this area where there's going to be like a T fitting and you're simply going to basically go from the T fitting right over to the catch can to the input on the catch can and then the output's going to go right down to the turbo that's the nice thing about the kit now this hose will not be here you're actually replacing this you're going to go from the intake manifold check valve and replace this hose 
So you're basically going to go from the check valve in the intake manifold, which will actually be removed to the T, from the T to the catch can and from the catch can down to the turbo. Now there's another way of doing it where we can basically go from here. You want to go from this check valve location to the input on the catch can, go to the output on the catch can and then run the T from here and you can split back to the PCV fix and then run down to the turbocharger. There's two ways of doing it. It's preference, one actually puts boost through the can, the other one puts vacuum through the can, but you can run it both ways. It's an incredibly simple kit to install. It does a great job of taking all of the moisture, oil vapor, fuel vapor, uh, condensation, basically anything that gets into the turbo and intercooler system pretty much gets caught in the can, which is why I basically created the setup. Uh, with the help of Andre, it also helps you uh, actually get better gas mileage. He was showing me a lot of data, basically how you gain three to four miles per gallon once you actually fix the PCV system. And when you get all of the debris out of the intercooler, the turbo, and the intake manifold, you actually get even more gas mileage because it's keeping all that debris out and now you're actually burning clean fuel instead of moisture and oil vapor and basically you're not gunking up your throttle body anymore. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to having the PCV fix and the catch can system. Now, the only reason I don't have the PCV fix on Black Widow yet is because I want the ported intake with the PCV fix. So I'm just gonna swap out intakes. I have a new valve cover coming. I have uh, a lot of big upgrades. I don't know if you guys saw that I have the uh, Black Widow Edition Turbo. That's gonna be going on this car. Uh, you can see there's no actual hood prop. Uh, the prop is still here, but it's actually not functional anymore because I have a hood struts kit, which actually works really nice. I love the hood struts kit. And uh, yeah, just sending you guys some updates. I hope you're excited for the Black Widow project. I definitely am. Uh, I have to get this thing on the road because my wife's car broke down. So this thing needs to be fixed. It needs a water pump. So I'm gonna have a video coming out basically talking about the, the water pump, the water neck and the aluminum radiator upgrade that I have. So I have to get this thing on the road really fast so she can use it until I fix her truck. Uh, so have a nice day, everyone. If you ever need anything, feel free to ask. And members, I appreciate you supporting me. I have some updates on the website in the member section. And uh, there's some members videos that I loaded up that nobody can see but members. So thanks again, everybody. Have a very nice day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no, man, I still go.